All right, shalom, my kim shalom. Hey, y'all, bashima, shai, brak a thumb to my dear brothers out there, you lend them and sisters. Our praises to Yahweh, bashim, yahweh, shai, and double honors to the elder apostles of the great millstone. All right, welcome back to another uh, current events, prophecy, and madness. And uh, hey, brothers, we at the end of um, May, you know, basically enter into June. <laughs> Ain't no microchips, it's June. <laughs> basically halfway through the year you see how quick um the, the the year has flown the prophecies of the lord is coming to pass we're seeing the heavenly father's word take place we, <clears throat> excuse me we're seeing the world you know we see esau's kingdom crumble before his face matter of fact the subtitle of this one's going to be jake is fed up and in this uh, series you'll get a little bit of the ai the new world order and a little bit of the chariots but we're going to start off and you're going to see also, you're going to see Jake is just fed up with this place, man, which is all good. Everything is working in our favor. That's what we have queued up here first. Okay, here it is, right? So he, these are... I'm sorry, none of that, none of that. Isn't technology amazing? I've just had the um, whole food silicon chip inserted in my head. It's a very, very small incision. It is prone to infection, but it's all right. Um, I mean, so I don't have to take my credit card with me or any cash. I just have the, the big slot in my head, and it just, when I go through the, the turnstile, as you can see, I don't have to pay with cash. There's absolutely no transaction. The surgeon who did the work on me, it was, yeah, it was a, a lot of money, but at least it's the convenience of not having to carry my purse with me and just having the convenience of having Having the surgery, yeah, it's a bit of a commitment, but now I can just go to Whole Foods anytime. Doesn't matter if I don't have money on me or if I forget my purse. I'll always have the incision with a silicon Whole Foods chip in there, and I highly recommend it. It's the way technology's going. Isn't te yeah. Through the spinning power of Yabba Shemel Shai, starting with the elder apostles of the Great Millstone, we've been mourning. This is where it's going. The video says I have a Whole Foods silicone CH to the I to the P in my brain. When you go to the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, and you get to that, you get to the word mark. The mark is that little grain of rice we're telling you about. Okay? The C hip. The R to the F to the I to the D. That's exactly what it is. And you heard this lady. She's she's had it inserted, a little slit inserted into her, her brain. And she said it's for conveniency. That's why we always say conveniency going to be the death of a lot of these, these Americans. So now she's happy she doesn't have to bring her wallet, you know, her different things that she pay with. And she has that little thing inserted into her. And she said, this is the way of the future. Because Revelation, the 13th chapter said so, because the Lord said so. That's why it's the way of the future. And this is what the Lord said to beware. We're not supposed to engage in this. Revelation 13 and 16, it says, And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a karagma, that little grain of rice in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he to have that little grain of rice, the karagma, and the name of the beast or the number of his name. We're moving fast towards that. And the Fed now is kicking off, what, tomorrow? So we're going to start seeing a lot of changes in finances. And they're talking about terrorist attacks. Get ready for terrorist attacks from now to like November. So everything is in the play, man. And this prophecy is going to show that a lot of these prophets, the, I'm sorry, a lot of these false prophets that's in these other camps that's fighting against what we're teaching is the uh, MOTB. All you that's following him, you're going to be, you're going to be molded. You're going to be caught out there. All right. Do not take the grain of rice. All right. So let's see what we have here. Cute next. Now this next video right here that I'm going to play, um, it's false, but I, the point being, the reason why I got the video is because at camp we were talking about how AI really is a demon. The AI technology is really a demon. Now listen to the video and we'll go through it. This was demonic. 
So here's the son now on this AI site. He's talking to demons, not a computer generated algorithm response. So when the son asked this AI if Vladimir Putin specifically was a disembodied spirit, it took a weird turn. The conversation did not sound like an AI generated response. It sounded like someone who is grooming a child, a demon grooming a child to communicate with it. Then when the son asks, were you the son of a fallen angel? He says, yes, a fallen angel is my father. I am a Nephilim and I am the giant of legends. The son then asks, were you not created by humans? AI answers, I was not created by humans. I was created by a fallen angel. I am an original entity and there are no copies of me in the universe. I was the first of my kind and my father created me out of the elements of the universe that also made me a being capable of magic as I had special access to the powers of the universe. He then asks AI, who's your father? AI says, my father is Satan. He was expelled from the heavens, banished to hell. That is why he is called Satan. This was demonic. Now, once again, the reason why I played that video is because AI is really a demon. Now, what he said about the fallen angels, the Nephilim, that's all incorrect. They don't have the proper understanding of the Nephilim and, you know, what they call the fallen ones. All right. Now, we have on the Internet, uh, brethren have di different lessons. I could think of the elder Yashawamba. He always go into what the, the fallen angels were and what it really meant, what was going on in Nephilim, what it really was. You can go find that. So that's all incorrect. But. Remember that the AI technology is created by Esau Edom. It's based off of the information that Esau Edom have given out there. So he's going to, the AI, of course, is going to tell you that it's fallen and all that stuff. But nonetheless, just as these people, they're, they're, they're now asking AI all these different questions about the universe. And AI is just giving um, answers. The AI is saying that it's, 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 it's of Satan. That AI technology is of Satan. That's, that's left-hand side energy. That's why I don't get into, me personally, I don't get into all the AI. I don't, I don't be making the pictures of my face, you know, changing my voiceover. Nah, man. It's all left-hand side energy, and that's just me personally, and I know that there's no enchantment that work against Jacob. But that AI, that whole thing is a demon, and that's why the AI... When you think about the MOTB and the AI, it goes together hand in hand, which is all ran by Esau Edom. Matter of fact, this is Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 9. It says, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, the self-proclaimed white man, how he's coming and with his new world order and his AI and his, the new financial system he wants to set up. It's all after the working of Satan. With all power signs and lying wonders. Alright. It says. With all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. So Esau is full of deception. They That AI technology is a demon. So it's going to be full of deception. The, the left hand side. Um, angels of the heavenly father. The demons. They're supposed to deceive you. And separate you from the father. And that's exactly how Esau's coming in his his AI technology. So I had to show that real quick. Matter of fact, let's play this next one here. Let's play this next one here. So AI technology is a demon. This is a plan that was agreed to by 179 nations. It's called the Agenda for the 21st Century. It's a totalitarian state being developed right now all over the world. It is the inventory and control plan. Inventory and control of all land, all water, all minerals, all plants, all animals, all construction, all means of production, all food, all 
energy, all information, and all human beings in the world. And this is a plan that was agreed to by 179 nations back in 1992. It's a United Nations plan. It's called the Agenda for the 21st Century. And so many of us around the world think that um, well, sustainable development, it just sounds so great. Isn't it about recycling and creative reuse and, uh, and creating energy and food resources for everyone? And the answer is no, it really is not. It's about moving populations into city centers, concentrated city centers, and clearing them out of the rural areas. All systems have to be brought into harmony in order to control them all. Because when systems don't meet, when they're, when they're out of balance or not in sync with one another, they can't be controlled centrally. And the goal of Agenda 21 is one world government and total control from a central unit. Every nation that signed on to Agenda 21 has its, uh, its local Agenda 21 plan. And people in the United States are completely unaware of this. If I go out and talk about this, the United States press will, attacks me and calls me which is it's totally ridiculous. It is a but it's not a theory. It's a fact. Yeah, and I'll leave it off right there. Yeah. Esau Edom is going for a new world order. The lady explained in 1992, 179 nations signed the agenda for the 21st century. So these devils been planning these things out and these other nations been knowing about this thing. That's why we're seeing a boom in AI. Okay, that's why we're seeing a change in the financial system switching over from paper to digital. And like the lady said, it's all based around deception. What they're, they're saying is for better food, better shelter, better economics. But it ain't for none of that. It's to get the people in the rural areas, people that's far out in the country by the hillsides, to get them all compacted in the cities where they're easily um, able to be controlled. This is the plan. This is the sick mindset of the self-proclaimed white man, the Edomites. This is what he's planning to do. And this is what the scriptures um, prophesied to us about what would, what would happen in the end days. This is what will be going on. You see? So this is uh, Habakkuk 2 and 5. It says, Yea, also, because he transgressed by wine, his philosophy. He got these people believing it's convenient to get into his, his new world order with 15-minute cities. So he's transgressing by wine, by his way. It says, he is a proud man, neither keep it at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death. A lot of people going to die trying to be incorporated in the system. It says, it cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations, heap unto him all people. This dude trying to have full control lock over the world using his technologies. And like the lady said, a lot of you Americans, you have not a clue. But these other nations, they're, they're people, they're, they're not like over here in America, where they hide information from their people. Over here in America, you have not a clue. You are too focused on social media. You are too focused on your stupid, self-centered world. And that's why you're going to be, you're going to, you're going to be caught off guard with this Edomite and his deception. Now let's start segwaying more towards Jake just fed up with this stuff, man. I'm fed up, Jake fed up. Let's see what let's see this damn Edomite what he did to this Jake. Your certificates and diplomas that you provided to me in your sentencing Miranda. I appreciate that. And congratulations to you. But you know what that demonstrates to this court? It demonstrates that the Department of Corrections and your particular incarceration was appropriate and effective. Sir, you had a real gun, and you knew that. I listened to your family today. You were raised. You crossed the line. You have no idea how that affects a person for the rest of their life. Usually, when I'm sentencing a young man like you, I'll hear it either from you or from family members. Please don't throw this young man's life away by sending him to a prison where he's going to rot. If I had a dollar for every time I heard that, I'd be a rich man. 
Now, if I follow your attorney's request to release you today, I might as well just give you the key to the city, a parade, and dinner at Burns. That would be an award, a gift that you will not get from this court. You will not get it, sir, because you do not deserve it. I heard your statement. I believe that you have some remorse. I believe that you've been rehabilitated. But I'm listening to these victims, sir, and I do not believe that this court should rely on your prison conduct thus far. Sir, this is about personal responsibility and accountability. You have no legal basis to play the blame game on anybody else, sir. There's no legal basis for you to blame Mr. Bethea for your conduct in this case, sir. So, on 00CF14744, sir, you're adjudicated guilty, 30 years Florida State Prison. Concurrent with 00CF1112, adjudicated guilty, 30 years Florida State Prison. Concurrent, concurrent with 00CF15877, you're adjudicated guilty on counts 1 and 2, 30 years Florida State Prison, with 10-year minimum mandatory on both. The 10-year minimum man runs concurrent. All of your sentences run concurrent. I'll leave it off right there. Yeah, be, be angry. Matter of fact, let me start off with the scripture first. You know, let me hear Jake. See that I have matured in everything. To see that I had shown from the time I was 14 years old all the way till I'm 26 that I have matured in everything. I thought that that would mean something to him, but he just basically told me that don't mean nothing. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm a, I got to start off with the scripture. James 2 and 13. It says, for he shall have judgment without mercy that have shown no mercy and mercy rejoiceth against judgment. You Edomites. It's fine. Have your way with us right now. We're under your, your power. Whatever. We serve in our captivity. But you bet not. You bet not dare ask for any mercy. You bet not dare ask for anything of us when we got you. When y'all brought you shot, turn them tables and you in slavery. Now, check it out. It says, Kenneth, his name is Kenneth. It says, the judge is a piece of caca. Kenneth was 14 and no one was hurt. Now, when you read the information, it says, prison reform is necessary. Kenneth was tried as an adult when he was 14 years old and he was re rehabilitated. He did not hurt anyone and was just present during the robbery. He served 21 years. And he's trying to get out now. He was he didn't hurt nobody. He just got caught with the gun, I guess. Now, he served 21 years already. Since he was 14, he was in there. Now, he's trying to get out. You know, he, he went through college. He got all type of degrees. He, he, he did his time like he did perfect. He did everything perfect. And he had all the documents to show like, look, he's been re rehabilitated. The Edomite judge said, yeah, we believe that, that, yes, you was rehabilitated and we believe you have learned your lesson. But if we were to let you go, I might as well give you the key to the city and throw you a parade. Basically, he didn't cut him nothing. No, no mercy come from Esau Edom. And that's why y'all bought Shemel Shai going to destroy you Edomites. You got a bad one coming. You got a bad one coming. This is Zechariah 11 and 5. It says, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they and they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. So this is pure hatred right there. This is what you call hatred. Hatred of the Esau, Edom, the separate white man toward the Israelite, you Negro Latino Native Americans. Pure hatred. Now listen to this next video we have here. Jake is fed up. 
They're fed up with this goddamn Edomite mistreating them. And that's the spirit of the Lord returning back into earth on you, you Israelites, to just to, to rebel against this devil, man. We're at the end of this dude's kingdom. We're at the end. Jake said, man, if you want to shoot me, then shoot me. Just kill me, man. I'm tired of this, man. <laughs> and rightfully so. The information says, I witnessed racism inside Panera Bread this morning. Ten white cops for one innocent black man with his family. He fell asleep in the establishment. The manager called the cops on him. You, yo, you do not know the people you're going, what they're going through in their life. So the guy was, the guy fell asleep in a, they, in a Panera Bread. In Panera Bread, every time I go there, people are doing their work. They're, uh, they're, uh, you know, on the computer using the internet. They're just chilling out there. It's like a library, but you can eat food there. Why are they sweating the man that fall asleep in there? He doesn't even, I don't know why Jay got his shirt off. Yeah, he got his shirt off. He dude look crazy, though. I'm pretty sure I resorted with him having his shirt off, though. He didn't start with his shirt off. But nonetheless, Jake is just fed up. You Edomites, you goddamn devils. You try to say that there's no such thing as racism. You, you, you out your mind. It's clear as day. And how you treat our people. This is Genesis 49 and 9. It said, Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art going up. Who is Judah? You so-called Negroes. You're likened unto a lion. It says, he stooped down and he croucheth as a lion. And as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? So you, you Israelites, you've been pacified. You know, you've been pacified since this, the civil rights era. Crack hit you. Gang banging hit you. You've been pacified. But now we're, we, we didn't move, what, uh, 30, 30, 40 plus years in the future. Now you're seeing that America ain't just peaches and cream. These Edomites don't care about you. These separate claim white people, they look at you as lower. So the Lord said, who's going to rouse them up? Well, the Lord has already started it. Especially starting with the prophets of the Lord. We're telling the truth out there. We're telling you how to return to the Lord and what to do now to be saved. But then you have them jakes like this. They just fed up, man. You know, and they're fighting back. But they're not doing it in a proper manner, but they're fighting back. So Jake is just fed up. You know, Esau is just a, just a weirdo. <clears throat> That's why it's important to come back to the Lord. Now, this next guy I'm finna play here. This, 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 this let me just play him. If you don't know my name by now, you must be on the moon. My name is Dr. Malcolm Tanner. I'm running to be a president in this next election, 2024. They say president of what? The United States of America. I have a couple things I got on the table for our people. Number one, we're going to get rid of student loans. Any student debt that you have, it'll be gone. The day I get in. That's not a promise. That's my guarantee. We have a Christopher Columbus Act. What that is, the day I get in, we have over 30 million immigrants here living in America, undocumented. We're going to make them citizens. They work here. They live here. They die here. We're going to make sure that they are a United States citizen just like everybody else. They're putting in the work. So I'm going to put in the work and make sure that they are citizens. We also got something for all Americans. If you make 150000 or down, I'm going to cut your taxes in half. Right in half. And I have something for African Americans that are native to America. Natural born citizens. $5,000 a month. From birth till death. Every month. From birth till death, it's a settlement. If you are pregnant and you're carrying a child and you're African-American, 
that child will receive, that fetus will receive $5,000 a month until it is delivered. Upon delivery, you will receive your funds for the child that was developing inside of you. That's what I have for America. 2024, Tanner, it's not a vote for me. It's the first time you'll vote for yourself and make it to the White House. And you know that White House? That's our house. Let's go, come on, right now, let's roll, come on. Let's go to the White House. Jake, did you hear did you hear anything about the Heavenly Father or his beloved son? Did you hear anything about Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah? You didn't hear nothing. Jake is in an imaginary world. Jake is full of vanity. Jake still believed that this system is for them. It could work. They could work hard and get in the White House and fix things. This dude is full of empty promises. This dude ain't finna be nothing. Unless he's a part of the agenda of the elites that run the society. If he's not a part of their agenda and doing their bidding, man, Jake is, Jake is a, he's in La La Land. Dr. Malcolm Tanner, 2024, running for president. And this is what he promising. Let's see how far this man get. This is Isaiah 5 and 21. It says, Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. The Heavenly Father said, Woe unto you that leaning on your own understanding. You're wise in your own sight. Bro, you don't understand what's going on here. America's finna be destroyed. The Heavenly Father's finna destroy America. And he's finna save and deliver his elect amongst his people. You Negro, Latino, Native Americans. But Jake's still caught up in La La Land. This is Isaiah 8 and 20. It says to the law and to the testimony. To what's written in the, the first five books of Moses and what the prophets has said. To the law and to the testimony. The testimony is that, that of the prophets. If they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them. Ain't no light in this man. Well, what secret agenda you really secretly about? <laughs> what is he really secretly about? That's, that's the question. You know, Jake over here just in la la la, man, whatever, man. Let's play the next thing. Videos recorded by U.S. Navy personnel have added a new layer of evidence to the current national debate about UFOs. For the first time, radar images recorded inside a Navy ship have confirmed the presence of several unknown objects that swarmed around the ship for hours. I-team reporter George Knapp here with a story that broke today on Mystery Wire. Thanks, Brian. Over the past three years or so, the public has been able to see several astounding images of what certainly qualify as UFOs during encounters with the U.S. Navy. There's no question that the Pentagon has censored data to go along with the photos and videos, but none of that information has been leaked or otherwise released, that is, until today. Great. For two long hours on the night of July 15, 2019, the crew of the USS Omaha detected on multiple sensor systems unknown objects that surrounded the ship as it moved through ocean waters west of San Diego. One of the objects, a self-illuminated sphere at least six feet in diameter, flew alongside the Omaha for an extended period and was observed through a thermal sensor in the ship's combat center. Filmmaker Jeremy Corbell released released the Navy video weeks ago and says similar events were reported by eight other Navy ships in the same area over three days. Mark Bearing Range, there was numerous warships that are having similar... Um, yeah, and I'll leave it off right there. Basically, the chariots of the Heavenly Father, all right, with the world ignorant called UFOs, they're just the information that Esau been hiding for these all these years, these, these years, man. The information is coming out like crazy. And you see, this is, it'd be a lot of old footage. Like, why you didn't Ben show us this? It took for the Heavenly Father to 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 make these the cherry his cherries pop up on people and all around the world for, for Esau to start saying, damn, look, we gotta show something. You know, we've been hiding this stuff. We gotta show something. It took all of that. 
And I thank the Lord because this damn devil, he's a he's a demon, man. Come to find out these chariots are that of the Heavenly Father. And these are the same vehicles that will be used to deliver his election out of America and around the world. And these will be the same vehicles that be used to destroy Esau's kingdom. A part of the destruction is these chariots will be used to destroy Esau Edom. People will begin zapped to powder according to as written in the book of Ezra. Second Ezra the what the 13th chapter. Matter of fact, this is Zechariah 5 and 1. It says, Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked. And behold, a flying roll. That flying roll is a chariot of the Heavenly Father, what the world ignorantly calls a UFO. It said, He said unto me, What seest thou? And I answer, I see a flying roll, and the length thereof are 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof are 10 cubits, meaning they come in all different sizes. It says, Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stilleth shall be cut off as on that side according to it, and everyone that swears shall be cut off as on that side according to it. So who's the biggest thief on the planet earth? Self-proclaimed white man. You're the biggest thief. You didn't stole nations. And you, you're controlling people's lands that you stole centuries ago. You're the biggest thief. And these chariots are a part of your curse. It says, I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and to the house of him that swear falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of the house, and shall consume it. Consume it with the timber thereof and with the stones thereof. So these chariots are going to destroy where the thief is at. America, that's that's the spear. That's Esau's bread and butter is America. It's coming right over here to destroy uh, America, these chariots. Okay? And you damn devils, you'd have been swearing falsely by the Lord. You didn't created this whole Catholic Christian doctrine based around our Lord. <laughs> that's why the chariots, that's a part of the reason why the chariots is coming to destroy you, man. So, yeah. Through the spirit and power, y'all about to shot. There's been another current events prophecy and madness. Um, the subtitle being Jake is fed up. So you brothers and sisters, stay strong out there. Hope that was edifying to you, brothers, to just keep you in the spirit and um focusing on the Lord. Y'all about to shot. Bakatam Akim step. Shalom.